flashlight Something you can ride to and vibe to I'm just giving you the keys to survive Never let society tell you how to begin living your life By following the norm and trends I warn my friends, don't get blinded by the media I'd rather be myself, take flight, gotta speed it on speed dial And meanwhile, my dream right beside me with a smile She like. Good morning everyone and welcome to Chengdu City of Gastronomy Today I'm eating Xinjin Huang La Ding, which is a type of catfish. Right now I'm actually sitting underneath Tianfu Square. This is uh, Tianfu Square up here. You can see the statue of Mao Zedong over there. I think this is actually an interesting spot because it kind of shows the two sides of China. Up there we got the main square, a big huge open square. And then we have this shopping center that they built underneath it. Kind of more modern day China. There's shops with Western stores. There's a CNA over here, there's a McDonald's, a Starbucks. It kind of symbolizes what's happening in China. It's modernizing, it's opening up its doors to the West. So today I'm going to Qing Shi Chao Shi Chang, which translates to Blue Stone Bridge Market. It's the largest fish market in Chengdu. I've done a few episodes of Chengdu City of Gastronomy with fish dishes, and I have to admit I don't really have a very good grasp on the type of fish they eat here. Uh, I know carp and catfish are the most popular. Uh, but, you know, there's a, a ton of different species. They all have different names than they do in English, obviously. So I'm going to go check it out and see what they have. And this particular market actually has a fresh shipment of sea fish come, that comes from the coast every day. So there's probably lots to see. should be exciting. So we'll go check that out and then we'll go and try the dish. So I believe this is where we're headed. This is the market. So let's head in have a look around. You know, I just love seafood markets. Um, they're sloppy, my feet are gonna get dirty and stinky, but uh, it's just so much culture in here. And there's hardworking people. I just got sprayed. Crayfish coming out the yin yang. That would be the guts of little frogs. This guy's gonna escape. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> A staggering one-third of the world's fish production and two-thirds of the world's aquaculture comes from China. In 2005, it was reported that 32.4 million tons of fish were farmed in China, which is 10 times the amount of the second place country, which is India. When it comes to fishing in the wild, China is also number one with 17 million tons caught per year. That's a total of around 50 million tons a year, which is a huge, huge number, by far the largest amount in the world, which kind of makes sense. It has the largest population, and I think they have the 12th longest coastline, so lots of fishing opportunities. This guy's falling asleep with his chicken. Snapper, crab, and then of course, turtle. That's like a scene out of a horror movie. The guy has chopped the heads off of frogs and now he's peeling them, but they're still moving around. Octopus. That's a shame to see. Octopuses are super smart and uh, they're one of my favorite animals. So, if you come here at, uh, at night, they actually will serve up the fish and the shellfish and everything that they think isn't going to last through the night, so they'll do a big fry up on the sidewalk and stuff. It's probably a pretty cool place to eat. Also, you can come at 2 o'clock in the morning and see the deliveries. Um, I think they happen around 2 a.m. till 4 a.m., something like that. All the shipments come in, so you see people unloading the truck. Probably a pretty cool site. Maybe I'll do another video on that some other day. So up here, it looks like we've got lots of dry meat. Uh, not so much the seafood. Crab? Wow, look at big, beautiful crabs. Shucking, shucking, shucking. Do you guys want to see a turtle being cut up? I don't know if you do. It's pretty horrific. All right, I'm going to show it to you. If you don't want to see a turtle being cut up, then stop watching for 10 seconds. I'll tell you when it's over.
Okay, okay, it's over. To be a seafood market kid, he's got to be a great thing. Those are giant salamanders. We got some snakes in here. All right, let's get into some of these places and see if we can find the fish that we're eating tonight and um, some other, there's a couple other fish I want to show you guys. Oh, what are these? This might be it. Uh, that's what I thought. These little guys are for dinner tonight. They are looking pretty small and kind of gross looking. So that is, that's a type of catfish as you can probably tell by looking at it. it looks a bit like a catfish. Um, what else do we have though? This is mostly river fish from the area I'm thinking. So we're looking at a lot of carp back here as well. Carp is the most bred fish in the world. Uh, I think about 70% of the world's carp is bred in China. That's around 3 million tons a year. Uh, China's been breeding carp since a uh, year like 3,500 around there. So um, they're good at it. And you know, back then it was basically the riverbeds were drying up. There'd be a plot of water where the carp got stuck and they started from that basically. I'm looking for grass carp because it's probably one of the more popular fish, at least in the restaurants I find. Tao Yu. Nali. Ah, yes, Tao Yu. Uh, okay, okay. This is uh, uh, oh, skin. That means uh, mm, it doesn't have scales. This actually, I ate this cold pot fish the other day, and it's good because um, it's really buttery. No scales. Wow, look at that. Whole big pig leg. Smoked. Okay, I want to have a look at the ocean fish and see if I can find a mackerel. Wow, look at these giant eels. Dio Ching Yu. Ching. Ching Yu, male. Whoa. Back of frost salmon from the Faroe Islands. Oh. Wow, that's a big, beautiful fish. Better stay clear. That's uh, one kilogram is e bai shi. Oh, uh, is a uh, hundred and ten. Hundred and ten for a kilogram. It's not too bad for salmon. Hey, you Jing Yu, male. No one has mackerel. This is diao. Diao. Hong diao. Maybe I'll get a red snapper for tonight. Thirty-seven for full fish. It's not too bad considering it flew from uh, the coast early this morning. All right, guys. Here I am with my dining companion, Sarah. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you excited for this? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place, and should be interesting. This is kind of a classic style Sichuan fisher. Hmm? Yeah, we might. Uh, 
，乘以几嘛？乘以几？呃、uh, ，how much? How many? What's a jin? Jin, jin is a, ah, is one and, 一个。These are 500 grams. Ah, good powder. Um, sorry? Yeah, yeah. You shot how the hui guo ro? Hui guo ro? How? Like a hui guo ro. Mi fan. Anything else? Fish, hui guo ro. Tang, you want soup? Tang, you want soup? No. Um, or like cucumbers or sujido. Sujai, sujai, you I don't understand. Ah. Oh, wow. So this place is pretty interesting. It's like, sorry? Yeah, they're friendly. Fish is obviously what's for dinner. They don't really have a menu. It's just like, what kind of fish do you want? Hua, Huang La Ding. Okay, and you want some Poi Gua Ro? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so if you break down the full name, Xinjin, Huang La Ding, Xinjin is actually a place southwest of Chengdu, a small village where apparently this fish is popular. The Huang La Ding part, Huang means yellow, and La Ding, I guess, is the way they describe the fish, which is a catfish, but um, it has a yellow tinge to it, so Huang La Ding. In the West, they actually will call it yellow head catfish. The most popular way to eat this dish is a hot pot, but we wanted to avoid hot pot. We eat a lot of hot pot here, and hot pot-like dishes. Um, so I'm assuming it's gonna be very similar to a hot pot. There they are, the little guys. So I'm assuming you eat the whole head, they've gutted it. And you might even be able to crunch through the bones. Of course, you can tell by Sarah's face, she's not that impressed. <laughs> river fish, yeah, river fish in Sichuan is, it's, you know, the rivers are polluted, so it's all farmed. It's kind of muddy, it's a bit of a muddy fish, bony. It's all meat on it, I just don't know what to do with it, because it's just all bones. Yeah. No meat on it. There's a lot of that in Sichuan. Chicken feet, duck feet. Um, just like chicken knuckles or I don't know what they call it. Yeah, that's one thing that they do in China and it's probably because they didn't have the money to get the good pieces of meat at one point in time so they've learned to cook and they've started to enjoy the, the pieces that we would throw out. You just try it? Is it good? Flavor wise? Spicy. Spicy? Alright, I guess I will dig into this. You watching me to see how I do it? I'm just gonna bite it right into it, head and all. <laughs> yeah, suck the meat off. No? Flavor's good. Mm. Gills. You thought the regular catfish was bad. Yeah. Not eat the head though, like you said. Good. Eat the head first, but like not eat the head at all. That's a weird transition. <laughs> I thought I might be able to crunch through that head. <laughs> and just the face he made <laughs> put me off it a little bit. So the taste I would say is spicy, some vinegariness to it, um, green onion, ginger, garlic, 
Oh, I'm hitting a point where I can't spin anymore. Um, you want some food? The fish is kind of muddy. So legend has it. There's this girl. She's super cool. She's smart. She is a daughter of a doctor, and she's training to be a doctor. And then the town gets sick. Oh, no. What are we going to do? She throws herself into the river, transforms into one of these fish, and the fish help feed the people, make them healthier. She saves the day. This is always the story. <laughs> There's a lot of suicide involved with, with Sichuan meals. There she goes, dumping all my garbage. All right, this is how I would go about eating it. This part here, the head, that part's garbage. tail fin here. That part's garbage. Start at the tail. That part's good. Meat there. That part's good. Mm. Some of it's garbage. And yeah, pretty much it. We did it. Kind of. We got a little bit of leftovers. We're gonna give it to some cats. Um, that, that place is kind of cool. The ladies were nice. They said my Chinese was good. So <laughs> they're not very smart, but they're nice. <laughs> so, and thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe below if you haven't already. Stay tuned next week for another adventure. And also stay tuned for some Indonesia videos. I don't know what I'm going to shoot. I haven't planned any of that yet, but we're going to be there for a month. So there's going to be a, a little series I'm hoping to put together. And last but not least, that dish. Somewhat delish, and it was made mainly of fish. Mainly. Mostly bones, actually. <laughs> but fish bones, so still fish. <laughs>